Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elisa and I am the blogger, vlogger, creator, person behind all things Alley in the Valley, AllieInTheValley.com, on Instagram, all of that good stuff. Um, and I am so excited that you've decided to join me here on YouTube. This is a new thing for me and I've been keeping it up for about two months now? About two months. And it's been a lot of fun, especially because y'all know I love to talk. I am so excited because I have a really fun unboxing for y'all to do. I never thought I would be able to do one of these and it just happened or I just went for it and maybe I shouldn't have, but you be the judge of that. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. I don't think I've ever taken the time to just talk on here. I'm doing well. I just got back from Houston this weekend, which was one of my first trips not with my family so I went to go see my best friends from college uh, one of them is having a baby in January so we went to go shower her with some love um, it was a lot of fun I'm really happy that I got to go um, but yeah it's just been it's been good here I hope y'all are really enjoying this uh, filming schedule that I'm on I am posting every Sunday for the past two to three weeks. I did post on Monday this past week, but that was because I was out of town and, or I'm going to post right now. It is up on YouTube already. So if you're subscribed, you've already seen it. You were able to see it. If not, you have it. So that's the perk of subscribing guys. Um, so I'm, I did post it. I did post it Sunday. So it went live Sunday, but I'm not telling y'all about it until today, just because I do a whole blog post. I do a whole thing with it. Um, and so I haven't been able to do that. So it is going to be available tonight, which, or it will be, what is Monday? So that is going to be available on Monday as opposed to Sunday. This will be on November 15th. Oh my God, y'all, where did time go? I was talking to my graduate student today. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm a speech language pathologist by day, blogger by night. Not really. I, you know, the blog, it's taking a back seat, but I'm a YouTuber on the weekend. That's been consistent. Um, but anyway, I was telling her like, hey, your last week is next week. And she's like, what? And we like came to the conclusion that, you know, Thanksgiving is in two weeks. And it's just like, <sighs> yeah, brain exploded everywhere. And I just like don't know where time is going. Um, we, my family and I are doing like, I know everybody does turkey trots, but we're going to do like a huffin for the stuff in the day before Thanksgiving, not on Thanksgiving. I don't know how people get up and run and cook Thanksgiving dinner. No, we said eh, to that. We weren't going to do that. We're not even going to try. Uh, we're going to do it the day before Thanksgiving, which is actually my husband and I's, my husband and my whatever. Um, that will be our 14 year anniversary of dating. He is my high school sweetheart and I'm so excited because next year will be our 15 year. And I started dating him when I was 15 years old and I will be, I'm gonna be like, I will have spent the same amount of time with you then whatever. You get what I mean. But anyway, so November is a very, very busy month as far as celebration goes, I mean, it's not really like these two weeks. These two weeks are kind of like, well, they're done, like whatever. But the preparation in getting ready for Huffing for the Stuff In, anniversary, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, um, shopping, 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 shopping. I'm busy. I'm like real busy right now. But um, maybe I won't do that much shopping because I already did some major shopping and that's what I'm going to share with you right now. Um, so excited <laughs> okay so like I don't know how to introduce this how I'm gonna like should I just like bring it up nope not there should I like swirl it in I don't know I think I'm just gonna bring it up but dun, 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 dun. I got myself a little goodie from Louie and I like y'all I was not I have been shopping for a while. I've been, you know, I've been looking at different bags. So this is a small, uh, I, yes, I would consider it an SLG, which if you're new to um, unboxing videos like I was, 
um, that's a small leather good. So it, I, I, do, I would consider this an SLG. I have been looking at crossbody bags because that's just something that I don't own in my collection that is of like designer. And not that it has to be designer, but I do love my designer bags because they just, they just last, guys. I'm a big fan of Louis Vuitton. I think that's what I own more than anything in bags and anything at all. And I lied to you. And I told you that I haven't bought any, myself anything fancy since 2018. And that's an epic lie because here we have my little baby, my little planner that I haven't shown y'all too much of, but like, she cute. She's so cute and like, just like, made this a friend of mine actually posted it and I put it in my planner I did not use cardstock because I'm I was impatient but I also made myself oh, this I made that on Canva and it's so so cute um, I can link y'all to the tutorial that I followed and or if you want me to do a tutorial, let me know. Um, I do have Canva Pro because of the blog, but you can do a lot of that with your own stuff. Um, I'm just like going on tangents here, but that's okay because I don't think I've ever done that before and it was time. I totally lied to y'all about not having not bought something designery in a while. I just bought that in March. But yeah, so that's another small leather good. And this I think is like in the same range. So, I will not lie to you, I did unbox this by myself, or not by myself, my, my best friend came after I went for a run to, you know, huffing for the stuffing. Um, my best friend came by after we went for a run, she brought me some cake because huffing for the stuffing, that's why I'm huffing and not trotting like a turkey. Um, <laughs> she brought me some cake and it was so good. But she also signed for this package because I needed a signature, so I just couldn't stop myself. I did open it right then and there with her here, and it's so pretty, but I haven't seen it since then. I, my sister and my mom have come over and they said, just open it, but I haven't because I said if I open it, I will never put it back because I want it. I, I'm skipping running today. I'm going to do something on the Peloton, but I'm skipping like my training today to do this unboxing. So I am finally going to unbox it officially and I'm gonna show you what I got for it, and which probably makes no sense to you now because you don't know what it is, but I got some accessories for it, and it's gonna be exciting, so off comes the ribbon forever this time. If I were a really crafty blogger, I would probably like, like change my camera angle here, but I'm not. It's just not who I am, guys. You came for like craftiness and fanciness. Don't leave, I want you here, but I ain't that, but. Guys, like I don't, I don't. It was so hard because I left this weekend and I didn't get to take this with me and now I'm getting to open it for real. But here it is, here it is in the dust bag and if you have any guesses or what you thought it was, I know because you know, obviously you're not going to put in the comments while you're watching this. If you have any guesses of what you think it was, let me know or what I should get next because now I'm like, I'm a little bit on a trip, like, like the fancies, but here it is. Ah, yay! Isn't it the cutest thing ever? Oh, I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't look cute, but yay! So this is the Toiletry 19. Um, they have three sizes of this. They have, I think it's the toilet, the Toiletry 15, the Toiletry 19, and then I think it's a 26. That is like way bigger, but I decided that this was a size for me because it's all that was in stock. <laughs> also, this was the size I wanted. I did, I do like the 15, but I think that that's something similar to what I have already for my lipstick. Hold on. Pause. Like I said, the, um, the toiletry 15 is the smaller version of this, and it's a little more closely, close in size to what I already have. So this is what I already use for my lipsticks. You can see similar but not, but a little bit smaller. This is um, what I currently carry in my purse. It carries like a whole ton of lipsticks. I've had it since 
I've had it since I think, I think I was still in grad school. Maybe even, I don't know. I've had it for a really long time. It's Kate Spade, but it's so pretty and it just looks so pretty in my bag. So I have kept it. I will be really sad when it falls apart. It's kind of cracking over here. So maybe a 15 will be in my future. I love the size of the 19 because yes, it is one of the only ones that has come in stock. I was, it was my lunch break and I was just like, you know, scrolling because I have been shopping for a crossbody. I saw this one. I really like the other toiletry ones. They're not, I mean, it's a makeup case. I think those are called the makeup case. And they're the dome shaped ones. And I really like those, but I had been seeing on YouTube, of course, um, people were making these into handbags and using them as clutches as well. So when I saw that this was in stock, like I said, I was looking in the middle of the day, I was like, the time is now. So I got it for a total of $500. And I know $500, you're probably like, what? That's teeny, but like I said, okay, Kate Spade is a nice brand. There are different levels of luxury brand. I think that Kate Spade is a wonderful brand. I would love, you know, you give me a Kate Spade purse, I'm a pretty happy girl, but there it's definitely a different level of luxury compared to Louis Vuitton. Um, and I just, you know, if that one's doing so well, I can't imagine what how this one will do. Um, and it's just, I'm just so excited and like when I open it, you can see that it does have this wipeable lining here. So if you were to get anything dirty, you could wipe it off and it's not going to get ruined or anything like this. I know that like, I'm not, you know, this is my first Louis Vuitton, maybe my only <laughs> unboxing, but this one was, let me see here. There we go, this one was made in Spain, and this is the only piece I've ever gotten that's made in Spain. Most of mine are made in, or all of mine are made in France. Now I'm gonna show you what I got to turn this into a little crossbody bag. I will use it as a clutch. So I think, I'm trying to back up. Y'all, my camo chair, I my chair broke within the, one of the first few weeks of teletherapy, and so I got a new one. It got good lap, the, before I left, and I will be building it this weekend, but just reminisce on the camo chair with me. But I really, really love this size. You know, I think it's a great size for like holding, going to the store, just running out real quick. And like, even with this, like it just, I love the monogram because it goes with everything. You know, it doesn't like, I'm wearing black leggings, but it looks great against the black. And then this blue, like it just, it looks good. I love it. So I'm gonna sit down again <laughs> with my camera chair. Um, my poor husband, he doesn't have a gaming chair right now because I need a work chair. Um, I, I'm gonna show you the two things that I purchased and they actually came out to three for this. I have it clipped, I'm sorry. Which you can probably guess, you can listen. If you have ears, you probably know what I'm talking about. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is this little pouch that I got to insert inside my toiletry 19. Um, I got this off Amazon and I will, of course, I will link everything below. I'll even link my outfit I'm wearing, you know, this is from Amazon, this is from Kendra Scott. These are old from Kendra Scott, but I'll try to link something similar. And I'm wearing my favorite Zella leggings. Y'all, buy some Zella leggings. Sub, sub, what is it? Sidebar, buy some Zella leggings, they're great. Um, but I did get this on Amazon, I will link it down below. Um, and what it is, it's just a little insert and it comes with the card slots and it also has like a little pocket here so you can use this and i'm gonna get to why it's really important use this to make this more like a purse so you actually have pockets and stuff to put things like um when i put my id i don't like it to float around in a clutch i do like to put it in a pocket or i have the the um the card holder so it fits in there but why this is important is because you can see it has the little loops there so you can put this on a chain and make it crossbody so i think i will probably always have this little so let me show you it goes right in i really wanted the pink one but they didn't have it available but I guess it's fine because sometimes I get a little too crazy with all the pretty colors and I don't, I end up hating myself later, but I don't know, maybe I'll buy a pink one later. So this is what it looks like inside. 
So I have this wipeable leather, but I also like this because it protects it. If you, like, y'all have my poor Neverfull is like D.E.D. She's ugly. Oh, she's not ugly. She's beautiful. I love her, but like she needs recovery. She needs to go to the hospital. I know there's a place here in McAllen. I'm going to take her eventually, but there's like pen marks everywhere. There's gum. Water has fallen in it. Like, I mean, it's so, it's so wonderful, but don't look inside because ooh. I do. And I do have inserts in that one. And I do have another size insert. I do have one right here, actually. So this is the insert that I was using in my Neverfull and it was not the appropriate size. So it wasn't holding it up. Um, but I loved it. I mean, it's, it's still full of stuff. Like I have my Excedrin highlighters. I was apparently sick the last time I used this my favorite flare pens. These aren't my favorite anymore though. RIP. Um, yeah, just, oh, white out. What else? Yeah, apparently I was very ill the last time I used this insert or, oh my God, I was right before quarantine. I was so sick in January. So uh, at the end of January. So this, is an insert, it's by the same brand as my other insert. If you want a video all about inserts, what I put in them, how they make my life easier, this one does fit in my Speedy 30. And I, ha I, bought a, I just bought a new one for my Neverfull and for my Goyard. So if y'all want a video on those, let me know, but I'm gonna stop talking about them because I'm straying. Um, but this is, so I have the insert in here and all I'm gonna do, is add this chain. So this is another chain that I got on Amazon and I got this one because it does have the D ring. I think it's called a D ring here. It's, it has a D ring just, and that's the way Louis Vuitton does their clips. Um, I, I did it because I found it and this was like $9. We're bougie on a budget here. We bought the purse, but we needed to buy everything else on Amazon, okay? <laughs> I mean, I've never, that is my life. I have, a Louis Vuitton but Amazon inserts because that's my life um, so all you're gonna do is you're going to clip it here and I will talk about the length of this chain right now you're gonna clip it right there so right there I'm sorry guys I'm new to this clip it there so I don't know if you can see it you're gonna clip it there and then you're gonna bring it all the way around and I need to hold this up, but the chain is kind of heavy, which like I like because I don't want it to be a little cheapy chain that pops and then I lose my bag. Um, you are going to go right here. You are going to go under, under, and then, oops, sorry, I'm trying not to like be aggressive with my bag either. You're gonna go under and then you are just gonna clip here and put it back in. And I should probably not touch the the vachetta, vachetta. I forgot already. Dang. Should have remembered for this video. But there you go. You got your bag. And so I got two chains for this. Originally, I had gotten the 47 inch, I think it was, which I have right here. This is the 47 inch and it was fine, but I like it. I like my bags to sit a little bit lower in the hip. I also have a very long torso, if you can tell. Also, I am wearing those bralettes again, comfy day. Um, but I like where this one hits. The other one hit me like right here. And so my hip is right right here, right below that. So I wanted to hit below my hip and there you go. I just think it's so cute guys. Like I'm so excited and I haven't taken it anywhere so I can't report on how well this system works. But I mean, it seems pretty easy. Um, we're gonna do a little iPhone test. I haven't done this yet. So we're gonna see. I'll be so sad if it doesn't fit and I don't think it does. But let me try outside of the insert. Look at my face. So it doesn't seem to fit outside of the insert. 
which kind of stinks. Epic fail. I mean, I kind of want to rough up my bag right now and like make it happen for myself. Let me see. Oh, success. Okay, so what we can do, you're gonna have to put it outside of the little insert and mine has a pop socket, of course, making everything more difficult. Um, but then it does slide right in. Let me show you what it looks like. Closed. So it does make it a little more chunky but it's gonna work. And that is my unboxing of my new Toiletry 19. I am so excited. I bought this new, I did buy this new from the Louis Vuitton website. Like I said, I checked randomly in the middle of the day while I was having my lunch and I don't always have my lunch at noon. Sometimes I have my lunch at like 2.30. I don't remember what time it was on this day, but I remember it was like so dramatic. I remember I saw it and I was in stock, that it was in stock and I was like, <gasps> and so I sent it to all my friends. This must have been an early lunch day because my husband was not awake yet. Like, I think it was like 11, 11.30. So I sent it to my friends and I was like, do, am I doing this? Should I do this? It's available, it's never available. And, and by the time they responded, it was out of stock. And I was like, oh, well, I guess not. But it was still showing in my cart, so then, I was messing with it. I was looking at the toiletry 19, the 26, the 15. Like I was just kind of playing with it. You know how you do when you're sad when your size is sold out. And it went into stock again. So that time I was like, it's a sign. I get it. Like I didn't even wait. And usually when I make big purchases like this, I don't ask my husband because we don't need men to buy us bags. It's nice if they do, but we don't need them to buy our bags. Um, I always ask him like, what do you think? Am I making a good choice or a bad choice? Because he is my, he's my voice of reason and I respect his opinion, which is why I married him. Another relationship tip. Um, but yeah, I usually ask him about these things and I didn't, I was just like, I'm so, when he woke up, I was like, hey, I just spent a lot of money. And so, I mean, it's fine. We And that's another marriage tip we do have it's not a tip it's just how we do things we have separate accounts so he's like well it's your money um we do have accounts several different accounts together but we also have like our income goes to our own debit accounts because we didn't get married till we were like 26 27 years old um and we both he had already been working for almost almost 10 years i think 10 it'll be 10 years this year i don't know but um next year it'll be 10 years for him but um so yeah so he was like well it's your money do what you want and then he told me about something fancy for his bike i'm gonna link my husband's uh, bike channel below because you can see what he's buying and purchasing or like send it to your husband you can just follow us both on youtube okay <laughs> but i was so excited that i got this in guys i'm so excited to use it i like i said i've been wanting a crossbody and this is going to be the perfect um middle ground we are taking a fun trip in December, so I know I'm gonna take this with me. I am gonna try and uh, treat this with, um, I think it's like an apple, because the vaquetta is so delicate, and vachetta, vaquetta, I don't know. Uh, my battery's dying, oh my God, guys. Um, I need to wrap this up, but anyway, I'm so, so happy that <laughs> that I got this. I'm gonna share, share all about it once I actually use it. I'll let you know if I like it. If I don't, I'll definitely come on here and re-review it. Um, but I'm so excited. Um, if you want tips on logging on, I've kind of shared what I shared with you and and that's what I recommend. If you want to buy used or vintage, I definitely have a lot to say on that. My planner is pre-owned um, and I got it in great condition. It's still in great condition. Um, so yeah, I have like, this is so exciting for me guys. I really, really enjoyed sharing it with you and I hope that we can do more things like this from now on. If you are not subscribed, please do me the big favor, subscribe and like and comment. Of course, tell me what you thought what I was going to get. Tell me what I should get next. If you have a Louis Vuitton crossbody, yeah, I'm looking at Louis Vuitton. I'm not looking at anything else. I would love to look at Chanel, but... <laughs> We're bougie on a budget, okay? So let me know what you have, what you recommend, and if you know of any good, of course, vintage sites, let me know. And I'd love to check them out. But thank y'all so much for sitting in with me and listening to me talk and ramble. I had so much fun talking to y'all. Bye!
Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. Um, I feel like I'm furry. Oh, let me adjust. We're gonna check if I'm blurry because I'm really frustrated right now. Okay.